This video provides an introduction and a quick tutorial to the Philly Crash Map created by Marissa DeFratti, Aaron Dennis, Bill Lampasathian, Maggie Norton, Tyler Regino, Kim Schmied, Derek Schaefer, and Pat Stevens. The main purpose of the Philly Crash Map is to allow users to visualize traffic collisions along a selected travel route in Philadelphia. The initial data was obtained from the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation and retrieved from Azavia. In total, the dataset consisted of 53,260 accidents from 2008 to 2013 and varied in type with cars, trucks, bicycles, and pedestrian collisions. For each collision, the dataset provided a time, location, and cause of the accident, with 18 possible causes. This map was designed with two groups of people in mind. Commuters, to help them explore their daily routes, and also city planners or local government officials, who could use this map to explore densities and gain insights for decision making about funds allocated to construction projects. We outlined three main goals for our application. The first is to inform the audience of the, their route safety. This is done by showing the accidents along the route and depicting the severity of these accidents. Our second goal was to provide tools for the users to gain insight from collision data. We did this by filtering common causes of accidents and exploring information about individual accidents through the histogram. Our third goal was for the application to serve as an interactive visual aid to complement text-based traffic reports from PennDOT. Traffic collisions are typically difficult to analyze because the datasets are large and generally the reports don't focus on visualizing patterns but rather work on predicting factors that will cause accidents. Most states provide transportation incident data online available to the public in the form of static text reports. There is little effort currently for design tools that extract data and create knowledge from the given information. The morbid color scheme was designed to fit the map theme. The blue gradient was used to indicate accident severity. The darker the blue, the more severe the accident. Red was used to indicate at least one fatality in the crash. Linking is used to highlight the same data across multiple components. The yellow color links an incident between the map and the histogram, and the data is interactively selected by the user by sl clicking on the points in the histogram. The filters are also used to help the user discover interesting patterns in the data. By selecting only a certain cause of an accident, time of day, and vehicle type along a specific route, the dataset becomes inherently smaller, and the user can form or confirm hypotheses. Finally, a scenario-based design method was used to ensure the user experience was of the highest quality. We tested numerous different scenarios and then edited our application accordingly to meet our intended goals. Let's take a look at how the map works. First begin by typing in a starting location point and then an end location point and pressing enter. As you do so, the route will become highlighted and the collisions will begin to be selected. The points on the histogram and the map are linked. So as you hover along the points on the histogram, the collisions are highlighted in both places and the map zooms to that. You can also filter the data by time of day and uh, vehicle type and cause of accident. So on the morning along this route uh, with cars, there are 148 collisions. If you switch to the evening commute, you can see that this increases to 244 collisions that are highlighted here. Looking at our crash summary gives detailed information about each collision. Now if you want to look at aggressive driving as a cause of accidents that occurred in the evening, you can do so. As you see, there are 20 collisions selected here. For future work, we intend to create a short tutorial so anyone can use our app and investigate their travel route. We hope that this application will draw commuters' attention to dangerous routes in Philadelphia so that improvement can be seen. One way we intend to do this is by creating a sharing function of the map, so commuters can take action by voicing their concerns about dangerous routes to local government officials and friends through social media or emails. We believe that this will be a tangible way to see improvements in the safety of roads in Philadelphia. This concludes our introduction to the Philly Crash Map. Thank you for watching.